Rohan Watson and Raheem Ford shocks the world in the men's 100 meters at Jamaican National Trials. Meanwhile, Shakari Richardson shines and Aliyah Hobb lays shattered. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops, you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, at the USA Track and Field national championships 2023 aliyah hobbs who ran the fastest time in the 60 meter dash earlier this year well the, the second fastest time all time and the second the fastest time this year in the 60 meter dash well she failed in her bid to make it on to the team ending up in sixth place this is what aliyah hobbs explained happened Hobbs wrote Youngin out the bottom, but I beat the odds. From having COVID last week to get in the sixth place at my first World Championships, I'm grateful. Thank you all for all the love. Okay, so she had um, she had the dreaded, uh, you know, illness. And having had it myself and understanding how this impacts your breathing, um, I'm amazed she was able to run and get to the semi-finals so we now have an understanding as to why she um you know she didn't make it through to the finals and that's it that's why we call, it's called track and field people that's why we have to watch the races because no matter how you predict uh no matter how you crunch numbers and you know that's what we do here anything can happen so she had um she was ill uh with covid and that's the reason why she was unable to make it beyond sixth place here she's running the second fastest all-time 60 meter and the fastest in the world for the 2023 season in the indoor season earlier this year. So um, there you had it. Aliyah Hobbs says she had COVID a week before her trials, which explains everything. Now, Shakari Richardson opened her USA TF uh, um, track, well, track, track and field championships, the 2023 version in the women's 100 meters running a then world leading time of 10.71. She came back to win the finals in 10.8. Two, I think she well doing two things. One, she was she finally is about to do a real international competition, so we're going to see. And um, she redeemed herself from what happened two years ago. And I know this was one of her own personal goals. So I'm very very happy for this young lady. Plus the times were really really good. Richardson won the women's final, as I said, in 10.82 with a plus 0.7 wind, miles per second wind behind them. Second was Brittany Brown in 10.90. Tamara Davis came third in 10.99. And Tamara Clark came fourth in 11.03 a season's best. So Budapest is going to be hot, people. It's going to be very, very hot. Let's see what happens. Now, these two young men shocked the entire world, ourselves included. That is, Rohan Watson and Raheem Ford shocked the entire world, not just Jamaica, become, coming first and second in the finals of the Jamaica National Championships Men's 100 Meters. Um, totally eclipsing Oblique Seville and Akeem Blake, who most people had their eyes on, and ourselves, we were also looking at Cadron Golson. Now, we were aware of Rohan Watson for quite some time and that he was right on that cusp. Uh, but honestly, we just didn't think he was going to run 9.91 uh, and Raheem Ford was going to hit that sub 10. 
people this has been the most un wow unpredictable and amazing jamaican national trials for maybe 10 years and i'm going to explain to you in a minute why i'm saying this now in the end it was rohan watson who won in a time of 9.91 ahead of raheem ford who ran 9.96 Obliqueville ran 10 seconds flat and Akeem Blake ran 10.01 seconds ahead of Taekwondo Tracy who took 5th in 10.09. Uh, uh, of course, we can't show you the race. We can't show you the race, not yet. We want to respect the rights of TVJ and their generosity in showing us this. So we're going to take you uh, look back at the race that we featured just yesterday. Um, it was a Velocity Fest with uh, the B final of the men's 100 meters with um, Rohan Watson winning. After call for the first section of the senior men's 100 meters, Rohan Watson and Nate Four going brilliantly. The left, the rest left to chase. It's Watson who gets there first. Michael Steve. Remember that Kashane Thompson. And Cadron Golson also ran sub tens, but this this time they did it in their heats. Uh, Keshane Thompson did not turn up for the semis and or the finals. So that means in one one um, national championship meet over three races, four Jamaicans who no one saw coming. Well, well, I did have an idea about uh, Rowan Watson and definitely Cadron Golson. All ran sub um sub 10. uh Kashane Tom thompson ran 9.91 in his heats uh Gosen ran 9.94 in his heats um uh watson initially ran 9.98 in his heats uh raheem ford in the finals ran uh as you saw uh 9.96 and um Watson ran 9.91 and let me tell you something people we should be celebrating I've been saying to you for about a year and a half that Jamaican sprinting is back all the signs were there we just needed a breakthrough the breakthrough happened with with uh, Oblique Seville then Akeem and now there's a plethora of young Jamaican sprinters who are all running good times 9.91 is a very very nice time very impressive time akeem blake uh has a new pb himself up uh 9.89 these are the kind we should be very excited that in one series of three races four jamaican young men who were right on the cusp of that sub 10 have all hit sub 10. this is a wonderful thing which means to me i, this, I am most excited about this particular this may be in my own estimation the best um men's 100 meter finals in the jamaican national championships that we have had in 10 years i honestly believe this because if these young men are able to reproduce this continuously like Akeem and like an oblique Seville, do you understand what this means? Do you understand what this means? And now added to this, there is the, the youngster Boaj Nkume with his 9.99. This means that we have about seven or eight sub-10 sprinters all running somewhere between 9.8 uh, well we know at his best we know that um that the best time that oblique seville has laid down he laid down i believe uh 9.95 or 9.6 9.85 or 9.86 9 so we have this is a good look for jamaica and i know that many of you are shocked there was a kind of deafening silence but I want you to understand that this is a really, really good thing. But this, of course, is my two cents. Were you as shocked as we were and as most of the world was about their wins? Congratulations to these young kings. Big up to the world I am. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. Remember, you're royals, you're kings, and you're queens. Bless us.